Inside the diner? No. Uh, I don't want anyone to see me like this. You're not gonna like these. <sighs> it's what you thought. On a dark, rainy day in the fall of 1986, Hella Crafts learned from a private investigator that her husband was having an affair. Is that your husband? Yes. That's Richard. <laughs> Shortly after this meeting, Hella Crafts disappeared. This is the story of how forensic science solved the puzzle. met Hella Crafts in uh, the fall of 1986. Uh, she came in to see me and was discussing the possibility of a divorce uh, from her husband. She was very concerned about what was happening at that time. She was also concerned um, about uh, potential violence, shall we say. By all accounts, 39-year-old Hella Crafts was a caring mother of three young children in an unhappy marriage. She strongly suspected the affair. She uh, felt she knew who the individual was, but she really wanted some confirmation. So we talked about hiring a detective to prove that, in fact, yes, he was involved with another woman at that time. It was a typical scenario of husband is never home, constantly lying about his whereabouts. And she had had enough. When Hella Crafts hired Detective Keith Mayo, she provided an important lead. A long-distance number she saw on the phone bills but didn't recognize. I met with her uh, several days after uh, we had caught uh, Richard with his girlfriend. And there were many photos of uh, affection between the two of them. Her uh, kissing him and holding his hand and rubbing his back, those types of photos. She just broke down. She cried for at least five or ten minutes, just sobbing. Hella and Richard Crafts had been married for 12 years. They both worked for the airlines, Hella as a flight attendant for Pan Am, Richard a pilot for Eastern Airlines. He was also a part-time policeman. I would describe him as, uh, he was very cold. You know, when he looked at you, he had a very cold stare. Their relationship was not a close one, and friends say Richard sometimes hit Hella. Dearest mother, here I am again in London. I have said to Richard, I want to be divorced. I no longer trust in Richard. Hugs, Hella. After Hella filed for divorce, she confided in friends on her flight crew. I want to tell you something I told my lawyer. If anything ever happens to me, don't think it was an accident. It was an accident. And that's an unusual comment to get from a client. On November 18th, 1986, Hella returned from a European flight assignment and was dropped off at home by her best friend. It was the last time anyone saw her. A few days later, Hella missed her next flight assignment. She didn't call in. So friends called the Crafts home. Richard said she went to Denmark to visit her sick mother. Later, he told a different story, that Hella was on vacation with a friend. All which proved not to be true. And when this all came together, one started talking to the next, to the next. There was a collective sense of panic in short time. The friends were basically telling me that she had disappeared. 
and uh, that uh, she was not the type of individual who would do this. She had three small children. So I called Keith Mayo. I immediately told Diane that I thought we should go over to the Newtown Police Department to report her missing. And they just turned a deaf ear on us. So Mayo launched his own investigation. In this home video, the Crafts live-in nanny talks about some mysterious dark stain she noticed on the carpet shortly after Hella disappeared. In the inside of the bedroom door, there was a spot, a black spot. Yeah. How big would you say it was? Half a foot. How? About that big? Yeah. Did it look like a stain? It looked like it was a stain, but it hadn't been there before. The fact that there was new carpet in the bed, master bedroom, and Richard ripped up the carpet and wouldn't give the nanny an explanation as to why. Also suspicious, a large freezer missing from the garage. And credit card receipt showed that Richard had rented a commercial wood chipper right after Hella disappeared. Had something happened to Hella inside the house and was her husband involved? <laughs> Police asked Richard Crafts to take a lie detector test. Did you kill your wife? No. Do you know your wife's whereabouts? No. Did you have anyone kill your wife? No. Showed very little reaction at all. There was nothing that either my partner saw or I saw that indicated that he was lying. With Helicraft still missing and no leads, Connecticut State Police called in their secret weapon, forensic expert, Dr. Henry Lee. Dr. Henry Lee is the director of the Connecticut State Police Forensics Laboratory and one of the world's most respected forensic experts. He accompanied police as they searched the Kraft's home. We start, examine some piece of physical evidence and uh, found some uh, uh, tiny clue. On the mattress, Dr. Lee discovered five tiny stains, so small they could barely be seen. Could they hold the key to the disappearance of Hella Kraft's? An orthotolidine solution on the mattress fibers turned blue. It was blood. A species test proved it was human blood. But was it Hellas? An antigen test revealed type O positive, the same type as Hella Kraft's. And microscopic analysis revealed it was circulation blood and not menstrual. It was circulation blood. Now, which means a blood vessel has to be injured to create such a pattern. 